Hey guys, so I know I haven't been posting that often, and I apologize for that, I've just had a lot of stuff to do, but I figured I'd post something at least, so uh, I guess I'd just go over my robot, so let's get started. Um, I guess we can get started with like the main part, which is the drivetrain. So you can see we have two uh, large motors, and they're connected by a beam, via a beam frame, which you can see right there. And and then connected underneath those are these two medium motors, uh, which you can see there. And those transfer power up to here, as you can see. So this is, uh, I think this is like probably the most compact design you can have, having the medium motors directly underneath the large motors. And, and then attached to the large motors, we have these two uh, light sensors. We use these for line following and line squaring. Uh, you might not be able to see, but yeah, right over there, there's our gyro sensor. And we, we tried placing it as uh, close as we could to the middle of the drive base to, so that we get the most accurate result. And you probably won't be able to see it, but let's see, okay, yeah. So there's this, and then there's our fourth color sensor, and that's for uh, detecting what uh, attachment is on it. And uh, it, it saves us like a lot of time. Uh, and it, it like automatically, the attachment automatically align with the gears. And I think that's probably like the best feature about it. Um, you can see that there are many upwards facing axles and that's so that we can, that we don't need to use pins for attachments. It's all just uh, using gravity. And what else is there? Yeah, so all eight ports are occupied on our robot. And additionally, it's very easy to take out the brick uh, i'm doing it one-handed but you can still see all you need to do is you just need to take out the pins uh you'd unplug all the cables and you can lift it out and replace it i don't want to do it right now because i don't really like unplugging the cables but yeah it's it's really quite simple before we uh actually built it i made a 3d model of my robot as you can see uh the colors don't exactly match but this is basically the base design it's really similar to what I built and I just added a few improvements to it and yeah you can see there's a white blue and orange color scheme I just really like these and also uh, the, I had one of these orange plates handy and I just thought it would give a little bit more color to the robot so I really liked it and okay yeah, I guess I'll move on to why I have this as a micro SD card here so typically uh, teams would probably use uh, where is it teams would typically use Oh, do I not have it? Thought I had it. All right. Well, teams would typically use either EV3G or the Scratch programming to program the robot. However, our team decided to use MicroPython, as you can see with the little uh, EV3 badge here in VS Code. Uh, and the IDE we're using is Visual Studio Code from Microsoft. It's free and it also supports uh, the EV3. So basically, the reason why we chose Python was first, it's more advanced and you'll use it more in the future. Second, for me at least, I can type a lot faster in Python. Uh, it's more efficient. I can write code more efficiently in Python than I can in uh, like EV3G or Scratch because I don't have to drag a block every time. So I think those two reasons are probably the biggest reason why we'll use Python over EV3G. Uh, I can open a folder real quick. Uh, let's see. I don't want to reveal it too much, obviously, but. So, yeah, this is like our code for. Um, this code is for our run, the uh, forklift run. I'll, I'll be posting a video of that soon. You can check it out. But yeah, so basically, we've got a couple uh, functions. We have this gyro drive. Uh, this is a, yeah, this is the line scoring function. So basically it will be perpendicular to any black line. And this is our PID line follower. And yeah, you can see these are all our devices that are plugged in. So this, so basically those two reasons are why we're using uh, something like MicroPython over standard EV3 code. 
and overall i think this robot will i think i i, I believe we can get max points with this robot just because of how small it is and how like powerful it is for its size and yeah i think that's basically it for my robot i don't think there's any other like drastic or notable thing and yeah i think that's it so thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you later